Arkansas is going to rehire Bobby Petrino as their He's OC. Going. And the All news right. was Arkansas is going to vet Bobby Petrino. Uh, we've done that. Yeah. Uh, if you remember how it ended with Bobby Petrino on a motorcycle wearing a neck brace at a press conference, it was a disaster. But this, I found this year's, here it is right oh, here. Boy. Here's how Bobby Petrino left Arkansas. That's a real picture. That's like not fake. So you can go look up the story. A lot of controversy. It ended very badly. Um, this is my, it just means more move of the year. This goes to show you, just like I've talked about with Urban Meyer getting back into it. People are like, oh, no, not Urban Meyer. Oh, God, not Urban Meyer. Or Hugh Freeze. Winning cures everything. You know what matters more to the people in Fable? And I respect it. Then the way it ended with Bobby Petrino, the way it was before, when they were winning and scoring points, and it was fun, and it was imaginative. Yeah, it went off a cliff, but you were going fast before. You had a great time driving around the mountain. They want that feeling again. And I think it shows you how desperate Sam Pittman is. Because it's different if Hugh Freeze goes from Ole Miss to Auburn. Yeah. That's different totally school. different. Urban Meyer goes from what, you know where he is now to a new place. Mm -hmm. This would be like Urban Meyer going back to Ohio State. Yeah. Or going back to Florida. You don't see this. I can't remember ever seeing this in my life. Even though it's an offensive coordinator, that's a huge spot. That just goes to show you it just means more. It's not a slogan. It is a lifestyle. It just means more. It's not a slogan. It is a mindset. And Arkansas, they're down with the sickness. Well, and I'm here for it. He's already returned to a place. He went back to Louisville and coached yeah. again. Look, I, I'm not as big of a fan of it. I don't think it's a great look for Arkansas. I, I don't know everything that happened How dare with, the, you? with the situation. If it was, it was like he was having an affair with a volleyball girl who then he hired at the football program when yeah. she graduated. Then the motorcycle That's accident happened. happened. What a monster. You know, uh, to me, only, again, 50% of it is that. The other part of it is we've already, you've, We've seen Bobby Petrino. We've seen him return to Louisville and, and left them again. It's just like, to me, you're, if you're Arkansas, you can go out and you can get better. You can go hire a younger coordinator. I'd be laughing. <laughs> if I'm Bobby Petrino, I am laughing. So Y'all are paying me again. Why? Y'all are I, paying me money again. It's like, if okay, maybe if Texas A&M was undefeated right now and he just called the best offense we've ever seen in the history of the world and you have to make a decision on... Golly, he would come back here, but we have this, you know, the, the morality is not justified. That's not what happened. Like, you can go get a better offensive coordinator, a younger you know, guy. Sometimes you just can't get up your ex, dude. That, that's what I was about to say. This is like, this isn't Great like. Great White Buffalo. That's a good way to This think. isn't like, hey, we're married. I caught you cheating. I'm going to give you a second chance, like, immediately. This is, hey, we're married. I caught you cheating. You weren't a great husband to begin with, right? There were some great times. Went out some great places. Remember that time we went to the West Coast? Sugar Bowl? Right, went on that road trip. That was great, back when the love was real. Caught you cheating. We got divorced for three years. I went out there and looked. The returns were not good. So I want to re- I can't find love again. Maybe you were my soulmate, right? Maybe it was just a mistake. Let me, let me bring you back in. Oh, you're, you're, you're thriving now? Wow, you got a promotion at work? You're back in the big time? You're back as a stockbroker. You kicked that drug and alcohol habit. Come on back. Let's say we can't recapture the memory. Who knows? Maybe it was true love. It just had to be put on hold for a while. That's what we'll this see. is to me. But speaking about it on can hold. only get better on offense. As far yeah, as I'm yeah that's right. very true. Well, I wonder what I mean, KJ is going to do. 2024 is right around the corner. I can't believe it either. It's amazing how fast a year goes. And there's no better time to get ahead and start your New Year's resolutions than now, even though we know you're not going to keep them. But we have a secret. All right? Fitbot. Okay, walk with me here. Let's take a walk through the garden. Everybody knows that working out is full of positives. You sleep better, you look better, and you just feel better, right? You get stronger. Sticking to the same routine can lead to a plateau in results. People get bored. Even when you see results, people get bored. You got to mix it up, right? Well, what do they say in dodgeball? You got to keep the body guessing. That's exactly what you have to do. So get your momentum going with FitBot. It's an app that creates personalized workouts based on your goals, abilities, and gym setup while helping you track and visualize your progress along the way. People say, Jake, David, Blaine, how did you lose this weight for the film and, and do all this stuff with FitBod? Because it made it fun. I didn't go in there knowing or having to drive to the gym and say, I'm going to do the same thing that I've done on every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then I'm going to go do the same thing I've done on every Tuesday, Thursday. 
FitBod makes it fun and it learns from your previous workouts and adapts as you improve. It switches up to exercise to avoid overtraining and it understands what you're using. Whether you're in your living room, whether you have a home gym, it doesn't matter. So learn the new movements the right way with over 1400 HD demonstration videos. Keep up your fitness habit with a personalized workout program from FitBod and get 25% off your subscription or try the app for free. Uh, listen to me here now. Fitbod.me slash booster. That's F I T B O D dot me slash booster. Check that out for that 25% off deal. I'm telling you, it's worth it. If only we had, you know, a caller on the line from Arkansas or something. Oh, wait, we have two. Mm, now I'm MB. Start with Matthew in Arkansas. Matthew, what do you think about this hire? What's up, boys? It is the whole hard hog. Hey, oh, God, the hope hey, is hey, back. Oh, Bobby P <laughs> is riding his Harley back onto the hill, and yep. we are about to come back all the way to top mm. 10 in the nation. What's wow. the, what, what's the, hey, hey, Matt, Matthew, what's the consensus? And uh, how many people are pissed? What percentage of them versus people that are excited? I've seen most of the polls like ranging between 60, 70 percent, 75 percent favorability. Want to win. I respect it. I respect it. It's not like Bobby Petrino, you know, went and, went and did some terrible act, right? Did he we, not? <laughs> I mean, come on, yeah, man. He did not blow up a hospital. Like, you know how, yeah, he yeah, didn't blow up yeah, a hospital. Did, Correct. Well, he, he didn't go, up. like, it's kidnap like somebody or, ever. or rob, like, a bank. It's like they treat Urban Meyer like he's Kim Jong-un. You ever been to a volleyball game, dog? Yeah. You ever been to a volleyball game? Now, let me give you a hint. Yeah. I'm not saying it's yeah. right. I'm not saying it's right. But Bobby Petrino isn't one of the first guys to fall in love with somebody in the, in the sphere and then bring them into the fold. He's one of the first people I've seen caught doing it, right? I'm not hey, saying it makes it is, right. Love is love, y'all. Look, here's the thing. How, how many points we average in a game? Yeah, so, so let's get to that part of it, Matthew. Like, beyond all that, like, is this really the best, this is the best offensive coordinator we could go get for Arkansas? L look, I know looking at Texas A&M last year it wasn't the greatest, but do y'all really think Jumbo wasn't in there mucking things up? I mean, you've got. I still believe Bobby Petrino has got to be a top five offensive mind. In He's. The game I agree of with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. Here's what's going to happen, though. What happens next year when the offense is really good, but the defense is bad, and y'all go six and six, and then they fire Sam Pittman and Bobby Petrino as the head coach again? This is the same question we asked when he went to Texas A&M with Jimbo. Yeah, and he's like, he was there one That's year. The thing. Bye. It's not going to be bad. We're going to retain Travis Williams, and he's going to continue to build that defense. And we're going to get better on both sides of the ball, and we're going to have an awesome year next season. Well, y'all better hope Ron Roberts stays at Auburn. I don't think he's going anywhere, but if Ron Roberts leaves Auburn, the D.C., T-Will, I think, is gonzo. He's going Look, home. If Arkansas fans are happy, then I'm happy for him. Because this year was a disappointment, and you deserve better. What, where we finished? Before Bobby Petrino was fired, where was Arkansas in the AP poll at the end of the year? Man, I'm, was it 17? 12. No. Number five in the country, mm. coming off a Cotton Bowl win over yeah. Kansas State, 11-2. and two. He just yeah, working man. his way in there. Far. Bobby's coming just slithering. Here he comes. But, Matthew, we'll see, man. We will see. I him. like your positive about it. I like your positive about it, Matt. Hey, hey, hey Matthew. Enjoy Lady Ballers on Friday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ready for it. See you, buddy. All right. All right. Let's go to Hunter in Arkansas. Hunter, how are you feeling about the hire? They, they, they jacked up today. Oh, thank, thank everything. There we go. I love this. I'm so here for this. This is why I love college football. So where does Arkansas finish next year in the SEC, Hunter? Okay, there's no division. Nope. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be realistic. Our defense was bad. Second. Um, yeah, I'll be realistic. <laughs> Third at worst. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say like middle of the SEC next okay. year. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right in the. Middle. That'd be a step up from from the past couple of years. I'll pull up yours. Twenty twenty. I mean, literally, I think the only SEC team that did worse than us was Vanderbilt this year. Yeah, they're and pretty I, bad. I think they actually football. have the same record. Mm. So, are, are you getting the same vibe as Matthew was through the fan base, 60-40, 70-30 on board? Uh, yeah, 
I'd say like more of the like the younger guys, like I'm assuming me and Matthew are, a lot of them are a little more hype than like, you know, the old the older people who are still yeah. like, oh, no they're heads. like honed. They're like, oh, Bob Petrino's the worst. Okay, yeah. first off, we're in the same state that had a president that did essentially the same thing in the White House. That's yeah, that is true. true. He was the governor. That, I mean, there's not a ton to do. The duck hunting's great, though. <laughs> so this is uh, this is y'all's schedule real quick. You got UAPB week one. You go to Oklahoma State. Okay. Week two. Then you have UAB. No, it's actually funny. Go ahead. I'm actually planning on going to that Oklahoma State. Nice. That'll be dope. Nice. That's Still a good water's one. dope. Uh, you have UAB at home. You have Texas A&M home. Texas at home. Louisiana Tech at home. Hmm. LSU at home. Jesus, do y'all play a road game? Um, uh, you go to Auburn. You have Tennessee at home. You go to Mississippi State. You go to Missouri. That's not awful. That's not an awful schedule. God, I just don't want to play UAB. I'm not worried about UAB with Trent Dilfer. <laughs> you know, the Trent? 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 We'll see. We'll All see. I mean, losing KJ is going to be big. Yeah. Well, well. I mean, I, you I haven't think, lost him yet. I think if Bobby go, or with Bobby going, he might uh, sway a little uh, Texas A&M quarterback to go to Arkansas with KJ. Mm, Connor Wig- Wegman? Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, Connor Wegman ain't leaving. Wegman you think him and Wegman are Wegman that tight? Wegman didn't go there for if, Bobby if wasn't not, there. If not Wegman, I'd be fine with Max Johnson. I'm just saying. I mean, He's I don't already in the portal. Than, yeah, Max. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's look at what our backup quarter. Dude, I'm telling you, Will yeah, Howard, from Chris K-State. Well, oh, bad. Will Howard from K State's nice. Yeah, he's Auburn's looking at him too. He's nice, dude. I, I think he's getting enough attention. He that kid can sling it. Yeah. He's an absolute tree. Big guys that can run do well at Auburn. So let's just let Will Howard come to Auburn. Yeah. Last time we did that, that worked out pretty well. Yep. Appreciate you calling, Hunter. Thanks, Hunter. Luck, huh? Everybody on YouTube, if you haven't heard, we just released a movie. It is dropping this Friday, December 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's 7 p.m. Central on Daily Wire Plus. Check it out. It's the comedy that Hollywood's too afraid to make. You're going to love it because your brain works.